So, so I, I, I screwed up huge. But there and is. There's, a, there's an outtakes that I just lost because I did not have the record button on the audio. But that's a price of, again, doing everything yourself. Yeah, which doesn't mean to say that we didn't get a lot of great stuff out of these guys because you definitely did. I, just, I loved watching them chew the scenery together. It was so, so great. Oh, uh, uh, you know, a pair of overeducated men who just think that they're better uh, than everyone else. And I, I just, uh, I don't know, I just I, I love watching them do their thing. So I don't know if you know, of course no one actually knows this, but there are four Priuses in episodes five and six. This is two. This is the second Prius <laughs> we've seen so far. And, and this, this little bit here of him throwing the milkshake, this is... I think the, this him throwing the milkshake is this episode's you know car to car scene from episode three, right? Mm -hmm. It's another thing that we thought this will be quick and easy. You know, it's two oh, lines. God. It's two lines on the page, but it ended up being two. How many? Three cameras? I oh, know there's two cameras, but we we shot it. We were able to get this a couple of different times. You know, uh, Danny coming out of the of the uh, the sunroof of my mini just to, to hurl this cup full of milk. At the Prius, uh, I, this is Jeremy. Jeremy uh, Weiss uh, generously gave up his, his, a couple of hours of his time to shoot a B camera on this. Um, so this is this is the Canon 5D Mark III, and then on the the side where we we see Danny's face is the uh, Black Magic 4K. But you you didn't have the Black Magic. Episodes one through four, correct? No, one through four is all Canon, five D Mark III, no raw hack. After so go back and go back and check, ladies and gentlemen. You'll notice the image quality is a lot nicer. Yeah, once you get once you get episode five, it became it becomes all Canon raw and five D Mark III. Yeah, it looks it starts, it starts to look really good. You'll, you'll begin to see some shots of like, oh yeah, that looks really good. By the time we get episode seven, it's all it's all high quality stuff and that's just only because it took forever to get the, the black magic from black magic which is why i'll probably never buy a camera from them again but i love this scene here this is the first time that uh danny uh danny's character lance takes action action this is serious a, action you know and you shoot this as though he's just pulled out a rocket launcher and is firing it into a building but just boom yeah. slam bam I love their, I love their reactions. It's so reaction. good. Now, and I <laughs> love this moment. So, they, they, so I'm not in the car here. I've, I've set the car up. I've set, sorry, I've set the camera up on the windshield, and I, I can hear them on the phone from about a, a half a mile to a mile away, and they're acting. I'm trying to direct them over over phone here, and they are just chewing this scene up. I love the energy of this scene and this song. I think it's called Only Human by Particles of Light. Just an amazing band. Uh, I love their energy. And, yeah, Danny's line right there. Woo! Is, you can see his cowardice coming back. It's great. Yeah, it's really beautiful. And you, so the camera is mounted to the dash, window. To, to the, the window. window. Yeah. So you see a lot of vibrations that you don't see otherwise. I love it. It's, for me, it, Phil is at this point in conversation with... Um, the Dark Knight, where, <laughs> where the scene where the Joker breaks out of prison and he's leaning outside the window of the cop car, and in that the camera oh. is mounted to the hood of the car, and I, I, you feel the energy in this as well. I love that. I love that scene. It's so good. When he, I just love when he's got the truck, and it says slaughter, slaughter. instead of laughter. Yeah, slaughter is the best medicine. That's great. But, so this is definitely in conversation with that that shot. Yeah, because we're slaughtering comedy, and we're. Yeah, you get a lot of energy and a lot of movement out of this. And it's, it's really great. The guys are great. The, the camera work is great. Uh, this is another moment where it's more than I ever thought it was going to be when I wrote it down. But I love, I love this moment here. This is all improv here. I didn't ask for this. But this <laughs> is my suck my Moby dick. And then the contrast to, to that to here of, of Lance being terrified. Again, in a beautiful, beautiful parking lot. <laughs> yeah, a beautiful parking lot that we had no permission to be at. This, I, what? Uh, this parking lot, I have to say, really well lit. Right? Oh, it's we're, they were under a really huge light, which was, if you want to talk about like being a independent filmmaker and running and gunning, the value of a well lit 
space that's just naturally well lit is it's pretty high. Well, I think that was the that was probably the one insight that I had that made it possible as well. I'm in a met metropolitan area. There mm -hmm. is a lot of artificial light that's subsidized by the public, and so. Thank you, taxpayers. Thank you, taxpayers. If you can get away with shooting in a location and you're inconspicuous enough and you're not interfering with the flow of traffic and or foot traffic, you can probably get away with shooting something. And so I, I thought, well, you know, when we're driving, I need artificial light. So I bought three LED panels. I think it totaled like 350 bucks. It wasn't a lot of money. Uh, if we're on the street or in a parking lot, I'll park under sodium vapor or I'll park under a mercury vapor, which is what this is here. The, the blue tint is mercury vapor. Yeah. We'll, you know, we'll use what was available to us to shoot. Uh, and it made, you know, it, it, sorry, it made the production possible. Uh, so I think that's something to keep in mind when you're shooting something on your own dime. You know, how do, how do you light something is a, is a big problem. Uh, if you're shooting in your place, it's probably going to be flat lighting because you're using the lighting that's interior, which is all fluorescence or you know whatnot. A lot, lots of tungsten, but there's a lot of it usually. What's great about shooting in the city is that you've got usually, uh, if you look at Lance here, he's lit by his glasses, but you've got light coming off his left shoulder. You've got a very soft light coming off his front, and you've got the car lights in the background, and so you've got a, a dynamic looking scene.